Hi everyone, in today's recipe, I'm going to show you this easy, delicious breakfast, or you can also eat it for lunch, how to make French toast without vanilla. I'll show you how I make my French toast without vanilla, which is very easy. Welcome to my channel, and my name is Olayeme. Welcome to my cooking. In today's video, I'll be showing you French toast recipe. Actually, French toast really call for vanilla extract. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your French toast if you do not have vanilla extract. Sometimes I don't make this if I do not have vanilla extract at all. Or if I feel like not putting it, I make my French toast this way. I'm going to be needing a fresh bread. You can use any type of bread you like. I'm using fresh bread. I'm using room temperature egg as well so you can use the brown egg you can use the white egg any egg you have available so I'll be using one teaspoon of sugar as well just let it suit your preferences so I'm using one teaspoon then let's start making our French toast without vanilla extract so in a bowl I'm going to crack two eggs the egg is to room temperature as I said earlier so I'm going to add two egg in a bowl then i'll just mix it on this way miss then we start adding an our other ingredients if you are new to my channel you've not subscribed to my channel please encourage us by subscribing to our channel and to get more notification of my new videos please subscribe and hit the bell icon so after mixing it i'm going to go ahead and add my sugar I already said I'm using one teaspoon of sugar. You can increase it to two. So I'm going to go ahead and add half cup of milk. Since I'm not making too much French toast, I'm just making it for breakfast for my kid. So I'll just add half cup of milk. I'm using low fat milk. So you can use aloma milk, you can use coconut milk, you can use any milk you have available. So I'm going to go ahead and add quarter teaspoon of cardamom so you can use that in replacement of your uh, vanilla extract you can use nutmeg it's also going to give an extra flavor into your french toast so it makes it taste really good so i normally do this sometime so i'm going to go ahead and combine everything until it's well mixed and properly mixed and combined so everything about french toast is to soak a bread in the mixed egg so this is the most important ingredients you need you need egg milk sugar so you are also going to need syrup as well so assuming you do not have vanilla as well you can just let go if you don't have a ton because sometimes i don't have vanilla extract into it if i don't have so that's why i say if you do not have you can make your french toast without vanilla extra so i'm going to go ahead and dip my bread into my uh, egg i'm going to soak my bread into my egg so we'll go straight to the pan and start making our french toast you just need to let your bread soak in your egg so i'm going to add some butter in a pan at this period just to rub my pan so my bread will not stick to the pan you can decide not to add butter if you don't like too much oil you want to skip the butter you can use the plain non-stick pan you just need non-stick pan to make your french toast so i'll just allow this to heat a little bit then i'll go ahead and add my bread so when you are toasting your french toast you need to reduce the flame you don't need too much flame to make your french toast so it will be well toast and it will not get burned. So when you are toasting your French toast, please just reduce the flame. You can see the heat is not too much. So I'll allow this to toast to one side for three to four minutes in both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. You can see it looks perfectly good and it looks our, our French toast come out. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to repeat this in all the bread. If, I, if you are going with four to eight breads, you are just going to repeat the procedure. Please remember to like this video and please remember to share this video. Let me know what you think about this French toast recipe once you try it 
in the comment section i want to hear your opinion about this recipe please let me know so i'm going to repeat this procedure of my french toast as i'm making it my kids are even eating it they can't even wait for me to finish the french toast so this is it i think this is the last bread for now then i'm going to show you how it look after everything you can see it come out perfectly good so you can ingest this with some strawberries some blackberries some raspberry then you just put some butter and some syrup it really tastes good when you add some syrup warm syrup or you add some honey it tastes really good with honey so i'm going to go ahead and add my butter to enjoy my french toast with that vanilla extract you can go ahead and add some syrup to enjoy it thanks so much for watching my french toast without vanilla extract hope to see you on my next video please feel free to subscribe to my channel hope to see you all next time and be safe